Good morning, world, and all who inhabit it. Please excuse my face. I have acne. Oh my god. I think my acne is, like, getting worse again. I'm sorry. I just literally woke up. <laughs> I woke up to see a tweet from Trisha. Some crap from my friend on Twitter. And, uh, I'm really tired. <laughs> but yeah, please excuse my acne. Like I said, I really do think, because the seasons are going to be changing soon. You know, summer to fall. So I think my face is starting to act up because, as you guys can see, I have a pimple here. I've got, I've had a couple here. I'm getting some here and here and back up here again. And oh my god, I think I need to try something else because I've been using Clean and Clear since like April, and it works amazing. I love it. You know, no regrets. But I feel like my skin is getting used to it, so it's like not reacting anymore. <laughs> So I might change it up and get a different cleanser next time. Um, or I might start using my Clinique emergency mask thing. It's in my beauty stash because my face is just disastrous right now. Like, I don't know. Is anyone else's face really acne prone? My face never used to be this way, but, well, needless to say. After my ex and I broke up, and I know, I talk about my ex a lot, but he's the reason, partially of a re the reason of my downfall. And I'm angry about it. But anyway, um, after my ex and I broke up almost three years ago, my face just started breaking out and acne all over my cheeks. And my, I have really big pores now in my cheeks and all over my sides of my face. I have acne scars everywhere, which is why, um, of course, last year and my senior year, I didn't really care about wearing makeup. I didn't really... I kind of gave up on makeup. I was like, I'm going to go to school without makeup. I don't care. But now I'm kind of like, I need makeup. We got like my nails too. I stayed up till like 12 o'clock doing them last night. <laughs> um, I painted my French tips on them. This is from my at-home acrylic kit. I realized that my mom has my clear nail polish in her room. She was sleeping and her door was locked. So I was like, fuck, I have no clear nail polish. So I decided to paint the tips kind of like glittery nail polish which you guys have already seen in my haul from the pure ice and i this is actually a nail sticker this is from the kiss nail dress sticker that i won um back in um for the love vox box um because i didn't have i was going to use zebra print the sally hansen zebra print ones however i realized that they dried out that they dry out and i was like oh my god really are you kidding right now because i went to um i had two boxes i had one for my birthday and one from the influencer spring beauty box box so i opened them up the ones for my birthday were dried out so i opened up the other ones they were dried out too and i was just like really i have to sneeze i gotta sneeze <laughs> oh also, I think I'm getting my allergies again because I've been waking up with a sore throat and stuffy nose. Excuse my boobs. Welcome to my bed. This is where I sleep. My zebra print. I love it. My moons. And I got Tigger over there. And there's my doll that everyone thinks is possessed and a demon, but no. <laughs> and the Angry Birds calendar and pictures of my boyfriend, cards, and oh my god, high school diploma. Let's not talk about that. I hated high school. Fall is changing. Like, it's changing now. And I'm, like, the seasons are changing now. And my body is just kind of, like, starting to take, um, some heat for it. Because the past, <laughs> there's been a couple days where it's been, like, I go outside and, um, because last week my sister started school. Um, sixth grade, so we were all outside, you know, being butts to her, watching her at her bus stop get on the bus and stuff, and just being, you know, asses, because, you know, we like to be obnoxious, um, and it was like 60 degrees outside, and I'm like, holy fuck, it's cold, why is it so damn cold, it's supposed to be summertime, but, um, I'm guessing that's just the weather in general, because it always is cold in the morning around here, but in the Maine, in Maine, oh my god, it's really, really cold. I miss Maine. And, you know, I really do realize, you know, I do miss Maine. I want to go back to Maine, so who wants to go to Maine with me? Let's go! Um, I, as you guys know, I used to live up there for five years. I lived in Bridgeton and Naples. Um, best years of my life. I really do miss it, and, um, sadly, some of the friends I used to be friends with up there, I don't keep in touch with anymore. Um, I know my best friend when I lived up there, she got pregnant and had a baby. Um, uh, yeah, like, it, it was, it freaked me out. I was like, oh my god, what did you do? Like, you're a good girl, what do you do? What, what the fuck, what is this? Um, and then, um, this other girl, 
that I used to kind of be friends with, she uh, she has two kids now by two different fathers, which, you know, no offense, you know, you, but, which, you know, I, I I'm going to hate on her only because she gave me hell in middle school. Whore! Um, <coughs> like I said, I only hate on people that have hurt me in some way. If you've hurt me, or my friends, or my family, I'm going to talk shit about you. I'm going to trash you. I don't care. Eyes itchy, my eyes itchy, my eyes itchy. Like my other video, when my nose is itchy, my nose is itchy, and I'm rubbing it in a circle. <laughs> I do weird things in the morning, I'm sorry. Um, but like I said, my other ex from Maine, um, that we were, you know, I didn't have feelings anymore, but we were, like, really good friends. He, um, became homeless, um... His sister had kicked him out of her house or whatever. Something happened. I don't want to, you know, get into his business. I don't really care. Um, so he's been homeless for over a year now. And he gets checks every month. And he would just spend them on tattoos and video games and girls and cigarettes. And I just kind of lost... I thought, you know, after a while he would get the hint. Like, okay, and you start saving the money. You need to, like, get an apartment. You need to get your shit together. You need to get a job. But apparently, that's not the case anymore. It wasn't the case. Um, he was just going crazy, spending all his money on these girls and shit. And I was just kind of, and getting into fights with people and almost going to jail. And so finally, I was just kind of like, you know, I'm done. And like I did say on my, um, when did I say it? I said it on my other channel. I don't remember what video it was. Um, but... He was going back and forth to these girls that, because I guess in Portland, Maine, they have some pretty shitty girls. If you're from Portland and you're not a shitty girl, I give you props. Because seriously, like, okay, he was dating this girl that was just basically using him for sex and money. And he paid for two of her tattoos. And then he, and she's cheated on him multiple times and said shit about his dick and stuff behind his back. Which I thought was very, very inappropriate. And then... Um, his graduation night, they were together, but she was secretly dating his best friend, which caused a whole riff, and now she's dating his best friend, and now she's like, oh, but I want you back, and I'm just kind of like in my head, you're not gonna get him back, bitch. She's one of the girls that I never thought I'd say this, but I would, I would come after and beat their head in with a baseball bat, because, you know, it was just the, everything she put him through, it was just ridiculous for like the past six months. <laughs> eight months, whatever. And then he started dating this other girl, Tracy, that was just being a complete bitch to him. And, um, basically just used him and would go out with him for two days and then break up with him and laugh about it and go out with him, break up with him. It was just like a cycle. And, um, a couple of weeks ago, the end of July, he was doing that again. I found out he was dating her again. He's like, oh, we're trying to work things out. Work things out? The bitch is trying to use you. For money and sex, she doesn't give a fuck about you. Why the fuck are you going out with her again? I don't. I just. I don't understand. I just don't get it. Bottom line, I pretty much don't really talk to anyone from Maine anymore. Um, there was also um, my ex friend Shane, and I was talking to him for like a good year, but then um, and like we were really close friends and stuff, and it was because we used to be friends in middle school. He used to date my ex best friend that was a bitch, and now has two kids. Um, so we were close, and then um, he just stopped talking to me. He friend requested my cousin on Facebook. My fr I was like, really? Really, bitch? What the fuck are you doing? So um, I gave up. <laughs> I deleted him from Facebook. I deleted him from Skype. I deleted him basically out of my life. And he hasn't tried to talk to me since. So it goes to show that the ones that want to be there will be there, and the ones that don't want to be there definitely won't be there. I just miss it though because you know that's where I lived up there with my stepdad and um in the cute little small town even though sometimes it was very very boring but it was really cute like you know at night around here um I hear sirens and stuff like you don't hear that up there it's like so nice and peaceful and quiet all you hear is the cars going by your window down the street and it's just awesome and I love it. I just wish that you know um 
we never moved because we moved to a second house while I lived up there and it was infested with fire ants. And somehow my stepdad thought that, that would be better for us. I don't understand how. Um, so, and then he passed away and then we were stuck living in the house for the rest of the year before we could move back down here to Connecticut. I fucking hate Connecticut. I just, I, <laughs> the more and more I was, I'm down here, the more I realize how much I hate it so much. But the only benefits of it is, you know, my friends and my boyfriend. That's pretty much the only benefits of living down here because my birth father lives down here. And I'll get, I'll, t I'll tell you guys, I, my senior year in high school, my mom started talking to him again and, <laughs> and they were talking about getting married again and shit. And I'm just like, again. I dislike him. I know what he's done in the past. Because now, because when I was a little kid, I was like 10 years old. I didn't understand when we moved up to Maine and stuff. And I never saw it, my birth father again. And I was really happy about that. It's just for me, now that I'm going to be 20, I realize, you know, I know all everything he's done, everything he said, what, you know, why my mom had to get a restraining order on him, like stuff like that. So, um,. I just, I, I don't see him as my father. I see him as something my mom's, someone my mom is dating. That's the way I see it because to me, my dad is my stepdad because he was a dad to me. He took care of me and my sister and, you know, he was there for me. And I'm not going to cry this video, but you understand. So, um, a lot of people ask me why I don't consider my birth father my father. And it's just because... I don't see him that way. I just don't. I mean, when I was little, I did, but then I moved, and I got a new daddy, and I was like, oh my god, I love this daddy more, kind of thing. It was, um, because my birth father was just, he is an asshole to my mother. He really is. He likes to start stupid drama over stupid ass shit, start crap and just you know he's a drama queen he likes to start it he likes you know some entertainment just so happens he likes to take it out on my mother and that added to her problems this past year so that's why um actually when she was in the hospital I did not call him I did not tell him I was just kind of like you know this is it he needs to he needs to be gone out of your life because I could care less about Jesse and me you know, having him as, having a father. I could care less, because I had one, I, you know, that was then, this is now. But, you know, he treats my mother like such shit, and I don't understand why she keeps going back to it. It's like, oh my god. Oh my god. I just can't, I can't even, but then again, I can, in that way, I can understand why a lot of girls and guys go after their abusive exes and stuff. Um, or, you know, when you've had a really bad relationship, you go back to that ex, because it's all you know. I understand that, but, um, he's a piece of shit. But yeah, so, I hope you guys enjoyed my kind of personal vlog about my family and my life, and my stupid birth father. <laughs> Another thing, he never fulfills his promises, too, which really pisses me off. He never says things he mean. He never means it, what he says. Like he says, oh yeah, we're going to move into a house, we're going to, I'm going to buy you a car, we're going to be a family, we're going to get married, blah, 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 blah. He says all that, he said all this in the past, and it never happened, so, saying it now, it's, it's not going to change, it's really not, which is depressing, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> very personal. Just like last week's. I think I need to stop posting personal vlogs. Let me know some issues and stuff you guys want me to talk about in real life and put them below because, you know, I don't want to talk about my family life anymore. I love you guys. Mwah.